Welcome to this video demonstrating how to collect a pre-transfusion blood sample for a group and screen and or a cross match. This is similar to the venipuncture skill, but there are additional steps and precautions that must be undertaken to ensure that patient safety remains paramount. Please note that you'll be working in different trusts throughout your career. Trust policy varies, and so it is very important to follow local guidelines for this procedure. This video will outline one such process, but this may differ at other trusts. Always ask if you are unsure. If blood has already been requested, it is important to first check the blood transfusion request form to ensure it is correct. You should check that it contains the first name and surname of the patient, their date of birth, their hospital number, the details of the requesting person, and their contact details. If there is uncertainty about this information and the request was not made by you, you must refer back to the person who made the request. Before starting the procedure, perform wiper. Wash your hands, introduce yourself and the patient. Here, the patient must give you their full name, which should be spelt if uncertain, and date of birth. If the patient is not able to do so, then an additional form of verification should be used. For example, the identification on the patient's notes. This must be then checked against their wristband. The wristband must then also be checked against the request form, including the full name, date of birth, and hospital number. This process is called positively identifying the patient. If there is any discrepancy when conducting these checks, you must not proceed. Next, explain and gain permission for the procedure, checking that they understand why the blood test is required. Expose the arm and locate a suitable vein. You may choose to bring a tourniquet with you to help with this. Reposition the patient to optimise venous access. You may choose to collect your equipment before approaching the patient. You will need the usual equipment used for venipuncture. Most trusts use a pink top bottle for the pre-transfusion sample. Do not write the patient's details on the bottle before taking the sample. Check all equipment is in date. You are now ready to perform the procedure. Wash your hands and put on a plastic apron and gloves, depending on local PPE requirements. Before performing the procedure, check the patient is happy to proceed. Take blood in the usual manner. You can review our video on venipuncture if you require further guidance. Immediately after taking the sample, clearly write the patient's details on the sample bottle. We recommend using block capitals and black pen that will not smudge. You must do this at the patient's bedside. This should include their full name, their date of birth, their hospital number, and the date and time of the sample with your signature. Most trusts require this bottle to be handwritten. Some trusts allow the use of printed labels. Please check local guidelines. When using these labels, remember to check the information on the label against the request form and the patient's ID band to ensure it is correct. The transfusion laboratory may reject the sample if it has been inadequately labelled. Thank the patient and explain the next steps. Complete the transfusion request form, documenting the date and time the sample was taken, and sign the form. Some trusts require a second signature on both this form and the blood bottle to act as an extra safety measure. Place both the request form and the labelled bottle in the appropriate blood bag and send to the lab for processing. If the patient does not have a previous valid group and screen result, the lab may require a second sample to confirm the blood group. The process of taking this second sample differs between trusts. For example, some trusts require a different person to take the second sample, and or the second sample to be taken 30 minutes after the previous sample. Please check local guidelines. 